Hello students and welcome back to class. Uh, are you excited for your English extra lip sync assignment? I hope so because I'm really looking forward to seeing them. Uh, today we're back with Let's Go and we're on page 52 and we're going to be looking at section B and we're going to practice some verbs and making some sentences. All right. So let's just, uh, let's look at those verbs first. All right. So let's look at the picture. When does she play tennis? When does she play tennis? She usually plays tennis after school. So let's look at that sentence. When does she play tennis? And she usually plays, notice the S, tennis after school. So let's look at this picture right here. So read becomes reads. I read, he reads. I do, he does. I study, he studies. They don't have it, but I practice, he practices. So it still has an S under there. And then I play, he plays. Um, all right. So we're going to practice that. Uh, and we're going to practice making some sentences from this picture. Uh, and please write these sentences in your English notebook. Uh, it's just good practice. It will help you learn. Uh, okay, so number one, we have uh, the tennis player. So uh, we already know that sentence, but let's try it. When does she play tennis? She usually plays tennis after school. Okay, so write that down. Number two, we have this person here. When does he practice karate? When does he practice karate? He usually practices karate after school. He usually practices karate after school. Number three, we have this person, a gymnast, someone who does gymnastics. So when does she do gymnastics? When does she do gymnastics? She usually does gymnastics after school. She usually does gymnastics after school. And number four, last one. We have this guy right here and he is, looks like he's doing homework. Probably like you guys a lot. Uh, when does he do homework? When does he do homework? He usually does homework after school. He usually does homework after school. 
Okay, um, that's it for today. Just write those sentences in your English notebook. Um, maybe write down this part too to help you remember putting the S on there. Um, and then uh, there'll be just a short assignment in your workbook to help you practice as well. All right, have a great day, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow.